What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Well, it looks like Pauli Malignaggian, AB, about billions, always burning money, eating strippers out. You know, you know me, young, fly, and flashy, Mr. HBO, <laughs> Adrian Broner, Mr. HBO himself. It's funny that he calls himself Mr. HBO, and his next fight's going to be on Showtime. But, um,. Looks like Pauli Malignaggi Adrian Broner was finalized for June 22nd on the undercard. Seth Mayhem Mitchell versus Jonathan Banks. And Mitchell is no stranger to fighting on Broner undercards. He actually received his first professional loss against Jonathan Banks on Adrian Broner's fight card with Antonio DeMarco. So I'm anxious to see that fight. Jonathan Banks versus Seth Mitchell. The fight was postponed. Jonathan Banks, I believe, broke his thumb and the fight was pushed back. It was already supposed to happen, I believe, on the Gavin Reese Adrian Broner fight card. However, due to Jonathan Banks' injury, that fight did not take place on time. So it has been rescheduled June 22nd. Looks like it'll be the co-main event um, on Broner versus Malinaji. As far as Broner Malinaji, I did a video previously. I don't think it's as bad of a fight as some of you guys made it out to be. He is jumping up two weight classes. Poly Malinaji, we all know, doesn't have punching power. However, he does have ring intelligence, and I'm anxious to see if Pauli Malignaggi, in any way with movement, can frustrate someone like Adrian Broner. And some of you guys get too power happy because there's a lot of fighters that aren't known for having substantial amount of power. Lamont Peterson, I don't know if you guys know this, but he's not a fighter with significant power in the 140-pound division. However, he does have boxing ability, he has a solid defense, and he is the type to keep coming and keep persisting and grind his opponents down and wear them down and he has good conditioning so he's not a heavy puncher same thing with timothy bradley um timothy bradley known for being a lighter puncher in the 147 pound division where paul molly naji also resides and timothy bradley you've seen at the end of the fight with ruslan provodnikov ruslan's eye and his face look pretty cut up so at the end of the day some of these fighters don't have as much power like a lucas matisse or excuse me, like uh, Mayweather or, or not Mayweather, uh, Pacquiao or whoever um, you feel has power. However, they're still grown men with leather gloves throwing punches. So I think some people are too uh, power happy and they automatically count the fighters with a lot of power like Gennady Golovkin. He'll automatically beat other people based on his level of power. But in the sport of boxing, if you know how to neutralize power or to weaken your opponent then it's not always who's the most powerful because, again, using Lamont Peterson, if you go power for power, Kendall Holt should have killed him because Kendall Holt has way more punching power than Lamont Peterson. So, again, for you casual boxing fans, it's not always about power. Obviously, if you have power in your arsenal, that is uh, a plus for you, but you also have to condition your body and be able to go the distance. And Some of the power punchers don't have the ability to... Um, have the stamina to continue so there's a lot of different factors i'm anxious to see paul and malinaji to see broner just to see how he looks at uh 147 and just to see if a fighter that knows he doesn't have that much power is able to maneuver and out slick him and we haven't really seen broner against a slick fighter so it's not a again as bad of a fight as you guys are making it out to be some of you and Furthermore, like I said in the previous video, 140 is a stacked division, but these fighters are all busy. Danny Garcia is Ab Judah in April. Amir Khan's fighting Diaz in April. May 18th, Lamont Peterson versus Lucas Matisse. Um, Brandon Rios and Mike Alvarado are both top ranked, which poses problems because Broner is golden boy. But even if they weren't, they just fought last weekend and had a tough, tough war. So I expect them to spend time with their family and recover from that fight. Um... Timothy Bradley, Ruslan Provotnikov at 147. They just had a war, so they're relaxing. Robert Guerrero and Mayweather at 147. They're fighting. So it's like, who do you want Broner to fight? Um, the only new name that I could think of, and I don't think this has anything to do with Broner, but Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford has, um, he showed some good skill, but he fights at 135, which is a weight that Adrian Broner was fighting at. However, if you guys... Are into boxing you'll know that terrence crawford his manager is cameron duncan who also manages nonito and brandon rios and there's an interview out there where cameron duncan didn't even want 
Terrence Crawford to take the Bradis Prescott fight because he thought it was too dangerous. And he said he has reasons for wanting to build Terrence Crawford up slow. And he didn't really further explain. So even though Terrence Crawford looks like he could pose problems or it would be a good match for Adrian Broner, they didn't even want him to take a Bradis Prescott fight. But Terrence Crawford and Crawford's trainer insisted that's why Terrence Crawford got the Bradis Prescott fight. So even if the top-ranked Golden Boy Cold War wasn't going on, I doubt we would be able to see at this point Terrence Crawford versus Adrian Broner. So again, leave me a comment and let me know what fight you want to see Broner fight that makes sense for June. Someone like a legitimate opponent that he can fight in June. Leave a comment. Um, as far as Banks, Mitchell, I definitely want to see that. I want to see how Seth Mitchell adjusts, how he responds to his first ever professional loss. And Jonathan Banks, he spars with the Klitschko's. He was a pupil of Emmanuel Stewart, the late, great Emmanuel Stewart. So I expect him to bring it, and he's going to be trying to make a statement that this wasn't a fluke. I deserve to beat Seth Mitchell. So I think that'll be a good uh, competitive heavyweight bout, and I think someone will get knocked out. So June 22nd, and boxing in general just looks promising. A lot of good matches coming up. So let me know what you guys think. Adrian Broner versus Pauli Malignaggi. Are you going to watch it? Are you not going to watch it? Let me know something. Leave a comment. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Until next video, it's Ego signing off.